Moving cattle today. We rotate pastures here at Grassy Springs Farms. Once a week, usually on Saturdays, we move cattle from one field to another. And that allows the fields to grow back up. New fields had about three to four weeks of regrowth. Uh, and it allows the cows to graze it a little more evenly and get a little more benefit out of our pasture. What I do is take the mule, I've got my riding buddies here. We just go and I pull a feed trough uh, from field to field and they follow me because that's when they get their mineral. So they're ready for the mineral and they kind of know, they get used to it, they know they're going to be moving from one field to another. going to skip this field uh, <clears throat> they rent it last week uh, my rotation has gotten a little bit out of whack this year uh, due to some lack of pasture through some early drought and a cold spring so I'm going to drive across this field take them into another field each of my uh, rotational fields are about 20 acres um, and we're running about right now we're at about 40 mama cows we did cut back this spring uh, with the uh, the drought and a lack of pasture. As you can see they're making their way out through here. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll go down here. We'll pull in this other field. Uh, we'll switch gates for water. They're on spring water uh, in this field. Early on, I did have to switch the city waters on. I do have the city water. I've got a tank water in this field that we're driving through now. But for the most part, I don't use those city waters uh, unless it's absolutely necessary. Uh, they're just back up for when I have a drought. The field they just came out of uh, has city water in it as well, but it also has a pond with a tank below it. Um, and then the field we're driving through now has uh, access to the spring or a pond with a tank below it and the field we're going into has access to the spring. And we have a pretty good spring as long as we're having, you know, an average year. In fact, I've only seen it go completely dry uh, once. That was back in 2007 in a severe drought. Uh, this year, uh, it slowed down a little bit. So I went and turned the uh, city water on uh, just to make sure that uh, they didn't lack for, for any water because it's a very important part of what they go through so now we're coming through this gate part of this field's been uh bat wing down part of it and a lot of clover in it some orchard grass we'll pull right down here and as you can see they're all coming in to check out get their mineral because that's what they want we had a little bit of rain last night earlier today We'll give them some mineral and then they'll stay in this field for about a week as they come through. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe.